So Real Illusion just released an update for Unreal Engine Live Link. Let's kind of like have a quick look at it. To set it up, there is a link in the description. I'm not gonna go through all that. But now it's changed a little bit. With the Unreal Live Link tab, you'll see that there is a few more options. We've got scene and motion. I'm excited. So first up now, we actually need to export the scene. We can include our motion. So let's go range from zero to 600, transfer that across to Unreal Engine. And so after a few moments, we jump over into Unreal Engine and we have our character, sweet. Now this here is our character from before this update. This is our current one. We will talk about this chap in a sec. Now I've updated the scene with the sequencer, added an animation to the character, and kind of if we scrub through it, we can see that we've brought in our animation. So we didn't have to record anymore, you little ripper. But back into iClone, I'm gonna delete these two animations. I'm gonna throw on a phone call from ActorCore. So now we've got him just chilling there, talking on his phone. Now what we can do is come over into motion and just export the motion. Yes, please. And now we come back into Unreal Engine 5 we can delete this animation, plus add the second animation which we just imported. <sighs> we didn't have to re-export the character. <laughs> this is so good. Now the one thing that I forgot to tick, but kind of makes sense because it makes our life easier now, is we can see how we've got that hard edge here. We can see all the edges around the nose, blah, blah, blah. It's been an update. Back into iClone, back into scene, I'm actually gonna click this options button and enable subdivision mesh. From here with this ticked, I'm going to untick include motion because I don't want that. I just want the character. Let's go transfer file. It's not much of a difference, but it is a lot cleaner compared to the other nose. Where here we can definitely see a lot more vertices even along the forehead here. And so I'll tr try and edit this so they're side by side so you can see the difference. And I mean, even if we do a comparison between the hair, the hair seems to be a lot smoother as well. We're on the right hand side, it still does seem a little bit jagged, but the main thing is, is that motion, exporting just the motion. I am excited about that. There are a few other features as well, but these are the two main things I wanted to focus on. Like and subscribe. And if there's anything else you wanna know, leave a comment, let me know.